Attention shoppers, when you go grocery shopping, are you one of those people who ditches your cart wherever you want, you know, avoiding those cart corrals located sporadically throughout the parking lot? Well, that is a big no-no in shopping cart etiquette. But even worse, did you know some people take the cart all the way back to their home or they steal the carts for scrap. So how does this cart cost affect you? Well, replacing those expensive carriages has to come from somewhere, and it often comes from your wallet. When we first started on this story, we were looking for people who break the shopping cart etiquette. You know the difference. There are those who, after dumping their groceries in their car, diligently walk their cart to the closest corral. And there are those who simply ditch them wherever they please, leaving your car vulnerable to scrapes and dings and leaving you out in the cold when you need a cart in the store. But then, after we looked a little closer, we found some who simply walk away with their groceries, cart and all. Well, when we opened this store, we bought 200 carts, and now we're down to about 150, and that's just a little over four months. Bill Morris is the grocery manager at this store on Locust Street in Terre Haute. He's been in the local grocery business for more than 40 years. Morris says stealing carts has been a problem for decades and it's getting worse. Now, a lot of our customers are walk in, they don't have cars, and, but they live in the neighborhood. So they simply walk home with the cart. We went hunting in neighborhoods near the store and spotted three IGA carts in a two to three block area, left in people's yards, empty lots, and back alleys. You know, so we have to go out and pick them up, you know, scout around for them every couple of weeks, see what we can find. But that scouting costs someone's time and money, and replacing the carts ultimately costs the customer. Get this. The IGA budgets $10,000 a year just on carts. They buy them reconditioned so it's cheaper, but that's still a chunk of change. Cost customers likely have to pick up. You can probably say, yeah, because, you know, every cost that we incur had to get transferred someplace. Oh, so it's not a trivial thing for us because, you know, it takes our time to, you know, go find the cart, and then we have the expense of buying new ones if we need to. Now, some states have tough laws for cart swipers. For example, California has one of the strictest in the nation with a fine and possible jail time. 